Okay, so hey guys, here's another tutorial. This should be the second tutorial of the week because I want to get a few out and I keep finding stuff to show you about this new t-shirt design I'm doing. Now, this is what it looks like so far. Doesn't look too great at the moment, but I'm going to be working on it um, every sort of, well, I'm just working on it as much as I can at the moment with the size of the client work and stuff. So basically, uh, I'm going to show you today how to do this text effect here. So basically, uh, if you have a look, um, we have... Uh, a cut out bit off the dark and that's really cool because you can have like a slab serif font there or a slab sort of font and then you can have your script font here cutting into it to give it this sort of cool effect so I'm going to show you in a different document I think um, so I'm going to just go untitled okay so I'm going to just type in on like Myriad Pro uh, dark and then with that I'm going to just go ahead and go to type change case to uppercase and go to this to bold and that looks good enough for me I might even change that to Langdon because not even Langdon uh, intro maybe intro will work fine I'm just gonna make sure my kerning's right okay sweet and then I'm gonna just copy that down he's gonna go places here um, and change that to amplify I believe and we've got it like so. Okay, so with both of these, these are both live text objects. So make sure that you've got the text that you want. And you highlight both of them. And I'm going to press Command, Shift, and O, which will go ahead and outline it to convert them into shapes. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this and then press Command, A, which will change it into a compound path. And then uh, you'll see nothing's happening because it's got no fill. So you need to put the fill back in. And what this does is it helps us uh, basically cut it out easier. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just scale this up a tiny bit. Um, maybe just move it, just so you guys can get a feel. Um, so it might not look great, but I'm going to just give it a good feel here. I keep ruining it a little bit because it's all squished now. Okay, so I'm going to just move it up like so. Move that down if I need to. I'm just going to make sure these are all... Uh, together okay so if I just move it like that so we have basically we have two text objects um, the P is overlapping the A so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight places when it's a compound path go up to object go to path and then we're going to go to offset path and then press preview and you'll see that it's offset the path a little bit we're just going to offset it a bit lower than that to about four and then with that I'm going to go ahead and um, select the uh, offset path but in the middle you don't want to be selecting the middle part of it you can always select the middle part of it and press command 2 to lock it so we can't uh, press it or anything and then we're going to select that and then select dark and then we're just going to go to minus front on the pathfinder if you don't find your pathfinder window here go up to window and then go down to pathfinder and you'll find it there so highlight them both press that and that will get rid of the offset path but it will leave you with uh, places now I know that doesn't look too great uh, but that is sort of what I did there um, in just a better way, I think, with a, uh, with a better font and stuff like that. So, yeah, that is basically uh, the tutorial for today. I just thought it would be really cool to show you because you guys can do some cool typography things with it. You can also turn it into stuff like this when, it gets, uh, when, when you're sort of working on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.